going to go to Pennsylvania where Michael is holding. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, um, I called maybe a month and a half ago and I got some great advice. I'm a, I'm a new, new caller, new to your show. I'll forget the gentleman's name, the, the, uh, the master technician that you have. With That's you. Rick, yeah. Rick, yes. Um, I called about a 19 Toyota that I bought that was uh, brand new and I was having some shifting issues. I don't know if you remember that call or not. And he explained to me about a uh, service bulletin that came out, I believe it was November the 1st. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> yeah, great advice. I can't thank you guys enough. I brought my vehicle in, made them aware of it. They weren't even aware of this bulletin because it was so new. And they had my car for about two hours. Um, and when I got it back, Oh my gosh, it's just like butter. I mean, I can barely even feel the shifting. The car was, was just, was, was bucking and it was, it was just shifting horribly. <clears throat> and man, it just shifts great now. I mean, it feels like I'm, I'm driving a Lexus compared to a Toyota. Uh, it just, it's amazing. The difference is amazing. Well, that's great. Well, thanks for letting us know. I wonder, I wanted to run this by you and see if you thought this sounded normal or not. The, the dealership, um, I had been complaining about it, and they really didn't know what to do, and were kind of hemming and hawing. Um, and I finally contacted the general manager because I was really upset and didn't really know what to do. <clears throat> and um, once this was all taken care of, I got a phone call about a day later um, to make sure I was okay with, with the uh, update and how the car was running from the general manager, which I was kind of impressed with, because I figured he was probably a busy guy. Um, and he said, what I want to do for you, he said, uh, because I know you expressed some concerns about the transmission and could there have been any issues that could there have been any damage you were worried about regarding the weird hard shifts that you were having before we did the, the software upgrade. Um, he said, for you is I want to go ahead and give you a gold vehicle service contract that'll cover your car for seven years, 60,000 miles, um, and would normally cost about $2,400 if you were buying it. And I said, well, if you're willing to give it to me, sure, I'll take it. And they did send it to me, and Toyota sent me, like, uh, the proof of it, and I filed it away. Is 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 that a big deal, or, or did he go above and beyond, or is there something that's some trickery that I'm not aware no, of? No, that's a big deal. I, I've never heard of that. And uh, Stu, Rick, have you heard of it? No, it's, uh, uh, you know, if you want to give that dealer a plug, we'd love to uh, give them a plug. Uh, if you want to name the dealer in Pennsylvania in this location, there is an honest uh, dealer. First of all, the fact that general managers will call you, as you said, uh, usually with most car dealerships, you can't get through the general manager, much less the owner. And the fact that he truly cares about you and then they give you uh, an extended warranty on your vehicle, uh, let's give them a plug. Fantastic, yeah, they've been great to deal with. Um, it's Hanover Toyota in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Hanover Toyota in Hanover, Pennsylvania. All you folks in that area, uh, an honest car dealer. Red alert, an honest car dealer. And uh, you can go in there and be treated with courtesy and respect and transparency. And uh, heck, I drive 100 miles to get to Hanover Toyota in Hanover, Pennsylvania. And I appreciate your calling back, Michael. They're good guys. And you might, 